participate in the service. Amen? Amen. It's giving time. Amen? Amen. It's time to give. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We had a workshop here on yesterday. And for all of you all that missed it, I'm not going to say you missed the treat, but I'm going to say it. I ain't going to say it. You missed the treat. Amen. Amen. Because I tell you, I learned so much on yesterday. It was really good and it was informative. Yes, it was. And you know, the Bible declared that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. But it goes on above that to say, but they rejected knowledge. Amen. And, and knowledge is power, believe it or not. And, and, and people say, what you don't know won't hurt you. No, yes, what you don't know will hurt you. Amen. Amen. She, she was free hearted yesterday giving us the information, telling us what we could do. Amen. Wasn't it very informative? Amen. Telling what you could do to get your credit score up higher. And from a banker's perspective, what loan officers look for. This was a black woman coming in telling us why so many people came to come to the bank and they can't get approved for loans. And if they do get approved for loans, well, they don't get approved for loans. You can buy cars, but your interest rate is so high, you're paying two times as much as somebody who has a decent credit score. So, and she was telling us ways on how to build our credit and how to get your credit, you know, score up. And those that were here yesterday didn't help you. Amen. She was very generous with the information. She gave us information. She gave us journals where we can track our daily spending. It was really, it was really informative. And I, I, I hopefully we can do it again sometime in the near future. Because I don't know about nobody else, but it really helped me. I can't speak for anybody. It makes the difference between paying $25,000 for a vehicle and paying $15,000 for a vehicle, the same vehicle, amen? So all of you all that missed it, you really missed the treat because she was so generous. She asked, answered all of our questions. She was to the point and she was real. And she didn't talk way up here like bankers do. And she was very approachable. Amen. She was here to talk to each and every individual that had time to talk to her. So I say to you all, you know, um, her name, what was her name, Lady Bruce? Katina Crawford. Crawford. She's on Gordon Highway, and you all need to go and see Katina Crawford. Katina Crawford can tell you how you can obtain a credit card. Amen. With a bad credit score. Amen. 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 And how you can build your credit score in six months. Amen. 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 So you all should have been here, but just for those that, Lady Bruce has some cards. For those of you all that were not here, please get one of her cards. And when you go to um, uh, Wells Fargo on Gordon Highway, please ask to see her. You don't want to see nobody but her. Because Amen. when you can put a name to a face, Amen. That means a whole lot. Yes. Because she told us even yesterday that she fights for her clients. Amen. Amen. And that's the thing that I love the most about her. It was she gave us an illustration about a man that came in and he had been written for uh, years, paying six hundred dollars a month. Yes. And he told her, he said, I'm tired of written and giving these people all of my money. Long story short, she got him ready to be able to buy a house. But when he went to her, his credit score, I think she said it was five, eight, five something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was five something. And he wasn't able to buy a house. Mm -hmm. But within six months time, he got a secured credit card, which is a card that you put money on. But you utilize the card. And he yeah. paid his bill on time and everything. And when he went back to see the mortgage uh, loan officer, his credit score had jumped from a five something to a 720. Amen. 735. Amen. 735 in six months. Yes. And not only was he able to buy a house, his payments were lower, and he borrowed six thousand dollars from the trip. to take a vacation. Amen. Now ain't that something? Yes. Within six months' time, he was credit worthy. So I'm telling y'all that didn't come out yesterday, and y'all wasn't doing nothing but laying in the bed. You should have been here. Amen. Because me and all people want to stay in the bed because y'all know Saturday is my day. Amen. I Resume position when I got back home. <laughs> Amen. So I said that to say to you, it, to, to, to you today is money is important. 
Amen? Amen. Apostle has been teaching us about the importance of money. Those of you that came out to Bible study on the other night, remember we talked about the young rich ruler? Yes. You remember we talked about how the Bible said he was clothed and then he had a bunch of money, but there was a beggar at the gate. Yes. You remember we talked about that? Uh -huh. And he only wanted the crumbs. Yes. But because he was so stingy, he wouldn't even give the man his used clothes, his second-hand clothes, his, his food that he was going to throw away, and God took him into his bosom. Amen. What God blesses us with a lot of times is not meant only for us. Yeah. He blesses us, uh, a brother, so we can be a blessing to somebody Amen. else. God don't give you four and five cars and your sister is walking and you can't let him borrow one of them cars or let him have one of those cars. Amen. Amen. So God blesses you with your wealth in order to help his people. Amen. 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 So I'm going to say to you today, and y'all know we talk about them income tax. Amen. She talked about them income tax on oh, yesterday too, didn't you, Sister Di? She talked about how people come in the bank and they have these big fat checks. She said, and by March, she said they're trying to get her to transfer money because they done blowed all the money. And one piece of advice that she gave to all of us, it was that when you do receive your income tax, pay your bills off. Pay your bills off. And whatever you buy, pay for it. And give yourself one big gift. Don't buy a flat screen TV and a new car sitting on the 20s. <laughs> oh, y'all know I'm right about it. <laughs> a used car and it's sitting on the 20s. And the bad thing about it is you got more on the car than the car worth. Amen. And if you run it into the bill, they don't give you what the car worth. They don't care what you got on. They don't care nothing about your quintus. <laughs> With the gold package, they don't care nothing about that. <laughs> Insurance company going to give you what is valued at. Amen. Amen. So, you know, it was just very informative. And I just wish so many of you would have been here to enjoy, you know, just for her telling us what she told us. But with your income tax, I told y'all on uh, Wednesday night, we should see an increase in our offering. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because when y'all need pure gospel, y'all can't tell me we're not there. Amen. 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 Who can say that? No one. Can't nobody in here say that you ever needed pure gospel and they were not there for you. In one form or another. Amen. Amen. We was there. We may not be able to do a whole lot, Brother Maurice, but you saw our face. Yes. And sometimes it's important just to know that people support you. Amen. They don't even have to say nothing. It just feels good to know that, well, they're here. That's right. We, we, they, not all the time what we can do. It ain't all the time that you, well, you want apostle to preach or you want him. It's just the fact that you are there. Amen. So I say that to you. Be here. We got some work that we need to be done. You all are sitting up in here. Y'all warm, right? <laughs> y'all, I'm, I'm too warm. I told the man to cut that heater off. <laughs> Not down, cut it off. I don't know if she did it or not, because she got on short sleeve, but I'm about to go up. Too. <laughs> about the monkey. <That's laughs> Woo! But it's always nice, amen? amen. When you come to church, it's always clean, amen? Amen. 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 When you go in the bathroom, you always got what you need in there, amen? Some place you go, you ain't got nothing. Yes. And they ain't stuck about getting you nothing, amen? Amen. When you cut the water on, it come on, right? Yes. When we cut the lights on, they come on, right? Amen. Well, how about you know we can't go to Georgia Power and speak my higher, 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 and they cut our lights on? Amen. Huh? No, we can't do that. Yeah. If you ain't got no money, they don't care who you are. Amen. Right. Amen. Huh? Right. Lady Bruce and I was talking yesterday. She had spoke with the loan officer, and the loan officer just flat out told her, the hardest people in the world to get along is church folk. That's true. All right. <laughs> All right. And y'all want me to tell y'all why? Because <laughs> church folk won't pay. <laughs> y'all hear me what I say? Yeah. They, they won't give to the Lord, but they want to come. The first time they come in here, we ain't got no lights, Apostle. We got to beg to come back. They won't come back. I ain't going over there. They ain't got no lights. But you put George in the offering. But let me tell y'all something that I heard on the news the other day. They get ready to stop making pennies, nickels, and dollars. Woo! <laughs> Lord, a father let Bruce, we probably won't get back there. <laughs> they said it's costing more than eight dollars in pennies and nickels than they're worth. So they trying to stop making them. Ain't that something? Amen. <laughs> That's gonna be good for the church folk, I hope. <laughs> Amen. But that's just 
just a little inside humor. We want you to give out of abundance of your heart. Amen. Because you can't ever outgive God. I'm telling you. Every time you wake up in the morning and you're healthy, you can wave your hands, Brother Maurice. You can put your clothes on. Amen. You open your refrigerator, Sister Ashley, and you got to pick what you want to eat. Yes. Come on now. You got to choose what you want to eat and not just settle for what you got. Shoot. Isn't that a good feeling? Yes, yes. Sister, isn't that a good feeling? That's the hand of God. Regardless of how you got it, as long as you didn't steal it. Huh? That's a blessing from God, Sister Lisa. Because you got so many people, and what saddens me more than anything, you have people digging in the garbage can to get food to eat. And God has overabundantly blessed us here at Pure Gospel. Amen. Because if you don't have no food, you see Sister Marlo, Sister Dot, and Lady Bruce. And then make sure you got something to eat. It may not be what you want to eat, but it's something decent. Amen. Amen. It's something to eat. You won't get turned around. And good food. Amen. Amen. And if you don't know how to cook it, mother show you how to cook it. Mother show you how to put them rashes together at mother. She'll show you she old school. I'm sure Mother Carter knows a little bit about that too, don't you, Mother? How to take a little bit and make something out of it. Amen. See, we, we just noodle, we just eat noodles. Poor children don't know nothing about no food, they just eat noodles. Amen. They don't know how to take a chicken. You know, my grandmother could take a chicken, and I'm, I'm being honest with y'all. That chicken would be so good. And we eat that chicken for five days and wasn't nothing the same. Amen. Y'all hear what I'm telling y'all? It wasn't nothing the same. One day it was barbecue chop. <laughs> she take them two legs and thighs and make some chopped barbecue and stretch it with some gravy and put it on some. That was the best food, y'all. Y'all hear me? Amen. But now God has blessed us so abundantly, but what are we doing for him? Amen. Seemed like back then when people had less, they did more. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now we got ab abundance and we do less. <coughs> Amen. Amen. So let's not be stingy with our giving. Let's get to the Lord on today. Let, uh, we don't want Prophet to come back out here. Prophet, we don't want you to come back out here. Amen. Amen. So we want y'all to give from the abundance of your heart the first time. And that's my financial appeal. Don't say pastor didn't ask you. Because you have not because you ask not. I want you to give from the abundance of your heart. I ain't telling you to give everything you got. But give from the abundance of your heart. Amen? Amen. So on the count of three, we're going to do our faith confession for kingdom prosperity. Amen. It's on your programs. Everybody have it? Amen. Amen. On the count of three, one, two, three. Father, in Jesus' name, I confess your word over my finances this day. I have given the tithes of my increase, and I claim the winners of heaven, blessings for my life. My mind is alert, and I hear your voice, and the voice of the stranger I will not follow. I receive new loads of opportunity, only for me and my family. I will always have all sufficiency in all things, and you are raising up others to use their powers, abilities, and their influences to help me. I expect daily for the Holy Spirit to speak to men and women concerning giving to me. Therefore, those who the Spirit of God designated are free to obey and give to me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run over. I believe every need is met with heaven's best. You promise to supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ, by Christ Jesus. I live in the best, I wear the best, I eat the best, I travel in the best, and I go first class in life. Father, I thank you that you give me and my family richly all the things to enjoy. Satan, I bind your activity in my life. I free the angels and ministering spirits to minister for me and bring the necessary finances for me and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Bring your all. 